Now on to Sinking Peril. Like I said, this is a gauntlet, one after another. And this one's a full slime mission, too. Where's Carmelita's jetpack right where she said it would be? The magnetronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane. You would better hurry, this whole thing is about to fall apart. I'm on it. Well, I inadvertently destroyed all of Clockwork's evil death ray. Way to go, me! All right for this totally automated part, though, but this entire stage right here is nothing but a race against time. This thing is sinking on lava because it's, it's like that lava spire from the first, uh, the first Mario Galaxy, which the moment your way on it just miraculously toppled it over to where it's now wanting to fall apart. Luckily, I can easily abuse everything on this. I know. Wait, when did I lose both my lucky charms? Or does, did this game take away both my lucky charms? Huh. I didn't think... Because I had one lucky charm still, so... I should not have lost them both. Oh, well. I do like the music that plays right here, though. And I love the final boss music, I will say right now. Uh, the final boss music in this game is... In the original game, the MIDI file is a more techno version. Considering for what the boss is. But in uh, this game... It's more of an orchestrated one, and I am a sucker for orchestra music, if you know me, ladies and gentlemen. Anything with a violin, and I am all over it. Right? So, I have to question, what is Interpol's budget if they can get jetpacks? Can I get one? I mean, I'm not Interpol, yeah, but come on, man. That's, that's outrageous. So, go right here. And we are at the end, so let's get the jetpack. Where we have one last tutorial in a strange reunion. This is gonna be the final boss, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that jetpack is easy to fly. Use the left analog stick to aim and steer, and press the square button to fire its rockets. Right now it is actually inverted control. Behind you! Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the Phoebeus Raccoonus. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting a day when I would finally eclipse your family's thieving reputation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him, but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! I love a strange kind of reunion for this. It's one of my favorite tracks in this game. Right, so pretty much we have to shoot Clockwork down. Pretty much, this is pretty much it. Now, I believe actually the uh, reason that this is inverted controls is based entirely on your camera choice. So if you were to change the camera to where down is, um, to where down is down and up is up, then I think actually... Uh, the controls for the jetpack would actually switch to that as well. I'm used to inverted controls because I used to play Star Fox, so you inverted can't controls. Dodge me forever. Yeah, I can dodge you forever. So just sit still while you shoot you in the butt. Giant evil mechanical owl. Cooper, yes, eagle owl. Uh, I'm the weakest Cooper you've encountered, huh? Yeah, that's 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 why my family's beaten you up for generations. More is explained about Clockwork in Slide Two. I will just leave it at that and. What I like it about it, uh, Clockwork is actually one of my favorite villains in general. But, there we go! I mean, that was easy. And then again, the bosses in this game are really easy. So I miss Ruby because of the port. Nice shooting, Sly! You got him! Yep! Wow, that's one tough owl! God dang it. get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. And the Cooper line will be erased, and the only master thief will be Clockwork. Dude, with your size, you can't. All right, so we have rings. Fly through the rings, okay? Go Superman 64 on this. Now, one thing I actually find funny: uh, the fact that Sly says that it doesn't take 
that it takes great thieves to make the thieves of Arcunus. Sly, you just used two, if not three, no, mainly two, of the main Thievius Raccoonus pieces that you got from the Fiendish Five that allowed you to even get to the jetpack. Oh, geez. Well, that was close. I'm still surprised that it took away my uh, Lucky Charm, actually, because Lucky Charms do stack in this battle. But I guess it took it away. You cannot escape me, Raccoon. You cannot defeat me with rings, Clockwork. I've played Superman 64. And I am for the summer of shit! Now's your only chance, Sly! You've got to get to his head and destroy it before his auto- I am. Pretty much that was Bentley gonna say that his auto function- Auto repair functions were gonna kick in. They don't actually do it. He won't repair. But uh, auto repair functions actually do make up something about clockwork that I can talk about for later. Now, I don't recommend uh, using Slide Tune Commons ability right here because clockwork will still go after you. These lasers are all uh, ones that are alarms. So, let's get to the end to where clockwork is. You will live. He is right about that. Immortal. Bye bye. Cooper! You will never be rid of me. Clockwork is superior. And that's why I'm hitting you with my cane. So, bye! It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebeus Raccoonus isn't fully restored. I'm missing one page! You have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us! What's the point of that? It doesn't help me! Alright, I'm gonna skip that, actually. I know some people are not gonna like me skipping that, but what that basically is, is... I'll go right here. Uh, this is... It's the credits. I'm surprised that didn't show up. Ah, here it is. The Tokyo Police File. This is actually an animated one in the style of an anime for it, and it's all in Japanese. It's basically just the intro again. So there is no point at all, believe me. So, pretty much, we only have one thing left to do. So, I'm going to meet you guys back inside of the Fire in the Sky and get the last page of the Thievius Raccoonus, where we'll get the true 100% ending for finishing up the Thievius Raccoonus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The last safe of the game. This is the last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus. It's an interesting power-up, as Bentley will tell us, but it's overall not really that useful. We never find out what Clockwork's piece of the Thievius Raccoonus was, as the cutscene never told us, but the moment we actually open up this safe, it will actually go for the last of the uh, cutscenes. 
worst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be two, three, one. All right, so two, three, one. Last safe in the game. So if you've been following this, you should get the platinum. Amazing. Colonel Reed Cooper. So greedy raccoon, that's for getting that. And Press platinum, the Phoebus Raccoonus. For beating every single trophy in this game. In the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. And not too much. Kind of stupid that we have to wait until we beat clockwork for this, but last time. And it will fade out. At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is going to be fun. Well, there you go, everyone. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Created and developed by Sucker Punch Productions. My thoughts on Sly 1. Sly 1 really did play it a little bit safe, and it will become apparent in Sly 2, 3, and 4 that Sucker Punch found the eventual, how should I put it, gameplay style that fits the best for Sly Cooper, because right now, it sort of feels like Crash Bandicoot with a cane. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but it is a bit easy. The game in general, honestly, I really do enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun, and I just love playing it over and over again. So, pretty much you might be wondering what happens if you end up doing all the time trials. If you do the time trials, you'll end up unlocking developer's commentary for the game, as well as another one of the anime cutscenes, this time for the ending. So, I don't really feel a need to, you know, do that at this point. But... I did enjoy doing the game, and in the future, I will be doing Sly 2, which is Sly 2 Band of Thieves. But that won't be for a while, quite obviously. So, anyway guys, I'd like to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359, and I thank you guys for watching my Let's Play of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Stay tuned for more Bioshock in the future, and for something that is going to be coming up on my second anniversary.